Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Annalise and today's video is exciting because we are doing a part two in my buying the cheapest and most expensive outfits from a website. In the past I bought the outfits from a misguided and you guys really really liked that video. So I thought today it would be fun to go into Boohoo and buy the cheapest and most expensive outfits that they have and compare the two. That way we can see how the quality differs between the more you spend or the less you spend, how how the style differs and also if these cheaper websites can actually make some really nice good quality items. So I went on to Boohoo and I bought two outfits da -da -da, and they were both dresses and heels which I was very happy with. So without further ado let's get on into it. What was that hand movement? I'm just gonna roll with it. Alright, we are gonna start with the cheapest outfit first. And this firstly consists of this black dress. This dress was so cheap. It was six dollars. Six Australian dollars. That is insanely cheap. This is what the dress looks like. So it is a strapless bodycon black plain dress. The material is actually a lot better than I thought it would be. I expected it to be really thin, sheer, like unwearable because like $6 for a dress? That's crazy! But it's not the best obviously, but I mean it's pretty good. It's a little bit see-through as you guys can see here, but I think when you're wearing it, it actually mightn't be noticeable. And to go with that dress, I bought the cheapest shoes on Boohoo. Now these were $20.40. There were one pair of shoes that were cheaper, but there were a pair of sneakers and there were only available in size 5. I wear a size 8, so it just wasn't going to work and I didn't see the point in buying shoes that didn't fit me. So these were the cheapest in my size and there were a bunch of shoes available for $20.40. So I got to pick which shoes I wanted, which was great. And whew, I of course chose some very glamorous shoes. And these are what they look like. They are these black shoes with diamantes all on the top here, all on the back. Got that nice little detailing. And then they have these little laces to tie up. Aren't they so cute? Can you believe these were $20.40? That is really, really good. Usually on websites, the cheapest shoes are really like basic, plain Jane shoes. So I was very excited and happy when I saw that these ones had a little bit of detail. They were stylish, they were extra, and I was very, very happy. The shoes are also really good quality, which makes me so happy. There's no issues with them at all. They are really well made, they look to be nice. If they're comfortable, that is another question that we will have to see. But so far, I am very impressed with the cheapest outfit. It is really good. In total, this outfit was $26.40 for a nice pair of heels and a plain black dress. And honestly, that is a nice look for like a night out, maybe a glamorous evening. And I am very happy with these. So let's try it on, see how it looks, see how comfortable these heels are, and see what we think. All right, this is what the cheapest outfit from Boohoo looks like on. And unfortunately, the dress is a massive disappointment. I don't know if you can tell on camera because sometimes it doesn't pick it up, but this dress is really see-through. I was hoping that for $6 it was going to be like a $6 bargain and like a steal, but unfortunately it's a $6 dress where you get what you pay for. So this dress is really see-through and unfortunately I just don't like it. But the shoes, these glamorous little shoes, I love. They are so stinking cute. They are very glamorous in a like a subtle way. I think these are true stylish shoes because it's not like all in your face. It's just a little pop of glam and I really like these. I think this might be my new favorite pair of high heels. I don't know. I don't want to jump the gun but I truly really like these shoes. I also think the outfit is nice but I mean unfortunately the dress just didn't work. It's just see-through and very disappointing. Okay, now for the moment we've all been waiting for, the most expensive outfit on Boohoo. Once again, there was an item that was more expensive than the one I bought, but it wasn't in my size. It was a brown faux fur coat and it was only available in size extra large and I wear it small, so it wasn't gonna work. So I bought the cheapest outfit that was in my size and that is this dress right here. This dress was $61.20, which 
for the most expensive item on Boohoo, that's pretty cheap. I expected it to be a lot more expensive, so I was very impressed with the price point. So let's open it up and see how it looks. This is what the dress looks like. It is a gorgeous embellished black dress. Now this was available with the embellishments in either gold or silver. I chose silver just because I thought it looked a little less tacky. The gold looked a little bit like eh, borderline tacky. But this is also pretty well made. I'm definitely noticing a theme in this series. The most expensive outfit is always heavily embellished. And this dress was a part of the Boohoo Boutique, which I mean, I don't really know what it is, but I think it's their like premium collection where the clothes are just better made. And as a result, are a little bit more expensive. But this dress looks to be pretty cute and it was in my style as well. Another big win. There were a few items there for the same price so again I got to pick and choose which one I wanted which was great and I am happy with this dress. To go with the dress I bought the most expensive shoes on Boohoo. This is the box they came in. How bougie, how nice. Oh my goodness, <laughs> okay. As you saw I was just shocked because these are massive. These were the most expensive shoes on Boohoo that were in my size. They are these faux leather heels with like tie ups at the back. They have a solid high heel on it. My goodness, how big is this heel? <laughs> and I don't mean big in the heel size, like yes that is big, but just like whoo. It's just so large. When I pulled it out, it was just very large. And these heels were $47.40. Again, not that expensive. For the most expensive shoes, that's pretty good. So Boohoo is definitely an affordable site the whole way around. They clearly don't dabble in like a little bit more expensive items, but the shoes appear to be really well made. Are they worth the extra price? We'll have to try them on and see because, I mean, so far I'm not really noticing a massive difference in quality between these shoes and the others. Of course, the style is completely different and this requires a lot more material than the other one. But we shall try them on and see. I'm not too sure if these shoes are going to match the dress, but out of the most expensive shoes, these are the ones that match the best, if that makes sense. So let's try it on, see what we think, and I'll be back to tell you guys which outfit I prefer. And this is what the most expensive outfit from Boohoo looks like on. Now obviously my matching skills with the shoes and the dress didn't work out because these shoes definitely don't match the dress. The shoes are a little bit more like tomboyish I guess you'd say and the dress is very like girly and glam. But in saying that I actually really like the two just separate, maybe not together. <laughs> First of all the shoes, they are really easy to walk in. That's because it has like the extra little boot part makes it so easy to walk in and they are definitely a lot more comfortable than the cheapest shoes and I really really just love how they look on. I also like the little detail that it has going on on the back. I think it just makes the shoes look that little bit more extra. As for the dress, I really like it. I think it's well made. It fits me well. This is what the front looks like and then on the back we have a little opening. And I think the dress is really glamorous and extra and really well made, but I'm unsure if I want to keep it. I mean, <laughs> it is a very nice dress. It is in my style, but I just don't know if I would personally wear it. So I'm throwing it to you guys. What do you think? Should I keep this dress? But overall, I'm very happy with the quality of both the dress and the shoes. I think they are both really well made and they are very, very nice. And that Boohoo does know how to make some glam embellished items. So I am very happy with how this turned out. All right, and those were what the cheapest and most expensive outfits from Boohoo looked like. Obviously, the cheapest one was a little bit of a disappointment except for those shoes. Those shoes are my new faves. And the most expensive outfit actually was really good, but they just didn't quite work together how they did in my head. So what do you guys think? Should I keep the most expensive dress? It was $60, which really for a dress with that many embellishments is such a good price. I am very impressed with that. I just don't know if I'm going to wear it. So what do you guys think? But I think after doing this video, it is clear that on Boohoo, you seem to get what you pay for. If you are stingy like me and only spend a small amount of money, 
you will end up with some pretty poor quality items but if you spend a little bit more you will get some good quality items. Also from my misguided video I know I asked you guys should I keep or return the most expensive item there. I wanted to give you guys an update that I did end up returning it. I debated for so long that I literally returned it on the last possible day that you could because I thought it was really really nice but I just knew I was never gonna wear it so I ended up returning that one. And that is the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because I upload new videos two times every single week. That is every Tuesday and Friday in Australian time and every Monday and Thursday in the Northern Hemisphere. So be sure to subscribe and turn on your post notifications so that you don't miss out on any of those vids. And if you want to see more of my face, be sure to follow me on Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter. My links are down below and on the screen right now. And that's the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did making it, and I'll see you next time. Bye!